We were both addicts um, on and off for the majority of our adult life, which is how we met each other, uh, actually through our addiction. One day I just wanted to quit. Actually, for some time I wanted to quit, and uh, I prayed to God to, to help me. And I never really prayed before, but uh, that day I just asked him, I said, I know that you help people like, like me, and I've heard that you help people like me. So I, I prayed, and uh, next thing I know, the cops are knocking on my door, and they take me to jail for 30 days. I, I got out for 10 days, and uh, I slipped up again. And I prayed again, and about three hours later, the SWAT team kicked my door and took me and my wife to jail. It's funny, I guess God doesn't always uh, answer your prayers the way you think he's gonna. And that was kind of the beginning of our journey. We were in jail for six days. Uh, is where I started reading the Bible, and I read the Bible the whole time I was in there. I hardly talked to anybody. They let us go six days later, and uh, we started going to celebrate recovery, and that's that's how we got here. So we got out of jail, um, and in doing so, we virtually we lost our home. Um, they took our son um, for the things we had been doing, our dog, uh, literally everything that we loved, which is how we ended up in the desert um, for four months. Um, during that time though, we continually and faithfully, we went to celebrate recovery. Um, and we also started going to service here on Sunday, um, where Pastor Chad had mentioned how important it was to read God's word. And that if you didn't have a Bible of your own, that we could take one. And we did. Sat by the fire and read the Bible every night and prayed all day. and. Uh... And that was where God began to heal our lives and, and restore us. Um, That's where we got to know, really know God. And each other. And, and each other. <laughs> and ourselves with a, clean, with a clean head. We loved it out there. It was peaceful, quiet. Uh, nobody bugged us. Uh, we obviously, we didn't have anybody, any temptation. I think God kept us clear from temptation until we had the strength to come back to town and, and face anything you know any any type of temptation any and we have been tempted since and he's also given us the strength to overcome that temptation you know it don't sound very flattering to live in the desert in a motorhome but god has a plan and, and his plan is is the right one and uh you may not always see it but it took four months in the desert for us to get our strength to come back to town and face Um, since we've surrendered completely um, to God and, and let him into our lives, our lives have completely changed. We have a home again. We have our son back with us again. We have hope. We were baptized um, while we were still in the desert, actually. Um, and then we were married. <laughs> Gosh, we've restored relationships in our family. We've made amends with so many people and continue to do so. Um, hope, we're happy. Yeah. The list goes on. Um, Talk to people we haven't talked to in, in years. As of November 2016, uh, we've been clean for a year and uh, free from addiction. And God will restore everything that, that you hold dear and give you back everything that you've lost. And, uh, and He'll guide you through it. And it may take longer than you want because we want stuff fast, but it's, uh, it's all in His time and, and it's all for a reason. And you will get it all back. And you will become the person or start to become the person that you want to be. I mean, I, I know that I have a lot of work left to do with a lot of things, but addiction is not something that I worry about every day when I wake up, and it's not a it's not a chain that's holding me back. You know, I'm I'm cut free from that. There's hope out there. 
for each and every one of us. Um, just believe me when I tell you, if we can do it, um, yeah, I should ask anybody who knew us. I mean, it's amazing. It truly is amazing, the transformation. If you just let God in, if you just talk to him and you ask him for help, um, he will be there.